Hey there everybody, I'm Trainer Connor 100 and that's right, you're here for my first battle video from the Kanto Classic Wi-Fi competition. For those who don't know, the Kanto Classic was the recent Wi-Fi competition hosted by Nintendo where you get to use only the first generation Pokemon. No items, no Mega Pokemon, no legendaries with the exception of the legendary trio birds Articuno, Moshes, and Zapdos. So this was a really fun competition. I really enjoyed it and hopefully there's a competition that would be just like this one in the near future. This is my first battle where you're uh, when you register your Pokemon on your uh, battle box and you're forced to fight one trainer, this is the match. I thought that this was an interesting battle. It kind of shows you how I dealt with one certain Pokemon, which you'll see in this battle. So, we see that my opponent is using a level 40 Clefable. Uh, a lot of people are forgetting that level uh, 40 or below Pokemon are not allowed to be second level 50 for this competition. They did that in the past, but not in this competition. So we got some information about this uh, Lapras, and this threw me for a loop here, because during level 50 battle format battles, um, moves like Sheer Cold and Fissure are one hit KO moves, and they have a 50% chance of hitting. So, yeah, that's why they banned uh, those kinds of moves in competitive play, but they allow uh, Sheer Cold and Fissure in this competition, which makes it a lot more interesting. Um, so we lose uh, my Machamp because I thought I could outspeed it, but no dice right there. We go into Golem next. I know that my ability Sturdy will allow me to live that Surf, put that Lapis in range for a KO with my goal or for my Neo King there. My apologies, but um, yeah, at this point I lost uh, three Pokemon. We need to get something going here. So we outspeed with my Neo King. I really like Neo King in this battle format because it has a lot of coverage items. Well, coverage moves, I mean, to hit a lot of Pokemon in the, uh, the tier for this competition. So, the way he brought his uh, Blastoise, I figured he would be able to take a Thunderbolt, and I, I assume so. So I went for a Sludge Bomb first, and I go with a Thunderbolt. I hit Dugong at level 34. Again, that's not going to set it to level 50, so he's going to be wiped out. And, uh, yeah, so I, I decided to just go with a the Thunderbolt there to hit the Blastoise originally. But the way he switched out, that's kind of odd. Now, I could have uh, stayed in, gone with an Ice Beam to break the multi scale that the Dragon Knight might have, and then we're ready to kill Swalax here, because I know that my Swalax can take a few hits from Dragon Knight at plus one. But in this scenario, I really played that poorly. I really should have stayed in with my, uh, Neo King. You know what that means, right? We're going to get struck by a Dragon Knight. So, you know, that's a learning experience there. Uh, so, yeah, we lose this trainer, Jasper, and, um, I, I could have played that a little bit better had I started out with Instead of Clefable, I could have started out with Golem, got my Stealth Ross, and then I could have speed the Nido King, uh, or the Dragon Knight, and go with an Ice Beam with my own Dragon Knight, and, uh, just go from there. I don't know. It was really hard to tell at this point in the battle, but, uh, it's definitely a learning experience for me. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that short, uh, battle video. I know this was kind of quick, but I just wanted to post and show you guys how that one move, sheer cold, can affect the match. Because that definitely threw me a loop there, kind of ruined my strategy with the match the way it went. So, yep. 
All right, well, that's the match. Uh, I will post battle number two with the Kanto Classic here shortly. Uh, stay tuned for that, and I will see you then. All right, if you enjoyed this battle video, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye, Kanto.